Pagpalang umaga po sa lahat, sa lahat ng nakikiisa sa atin ngayon, magandang magandang umaga po. We are thankful at nandito tayo muli upang magpuri sa Lord. Amen? Ano man ang ating kalagayan, mabuti man o masama, 
tayo pa rin ay magpuri sa Lord pagkat alam natin na may magandang ginagawa ang Diyos sa ating buhay. Amen? Let's uh, continue to welcome the mighty presence of the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Jesus! We worship you, we praise you, we glorify your name, Panginoon. Hallelujah! We welcome your mighty presence in this place, Panginoon. Hallelujah, Lord! Extended, Lord God, sa lahat ng nanonood sa live streaming na to, oh God. Hallelujah! You will let them feel, Panginoon, yung presensya na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Hallelujah! Panginoon, Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat, O God, sa panibagong araw, sa panibagong buhay upang kami makapagpuri sa iyo, upang kami makapagpasalamat, Panginoon, sa lahat ng bagay na ginagawa mo para sa amin, Lord God. Lord, salamat sa proteksyon, salamat sa bawat pag-iingat mo, salamat sa blessing, salamat sa anumang bagay na aming mga nai-encounter, O God. Kami pinag nagpapasalamat, Lord God, dahil alam namin na Ikaw ang Diyos noon, ngayon, bukas at magpakailanman. Lord, sa oras na ito, patuloy kaming Panginoon lumalapit, Lord God, sa iyo. Patuloy kami, Lord God, nagpapakumbaba, humihingi ng tawad, Panginoon. Lord, anumang bagay, Panginoon, na aming mga nasabi, sinadya man ito, nagawa. Lord God, kami pakalinisan mo, Panginoon, ng iyong banal at makapangyarihan mo, Dago. Hallelujah. Lord, linisin mo ang aming mga puso. Ready our hearts, Panginoon. Sa umagang ito, Lord God, sa lahat ng aming gagawin, ng pagpupuri sa iyo, Lord God. Lord, continue to give us the anointing. Continue to give us, Panginoon. The wisdom that is from you, Lord, alisin mo lahat ng amin. Ikaw ang maitaas, ikaw ang mapapurihan, Lord God. Sa bawat, Lord God, gagamitin mo sa araw na ito, Lord God. Cover us with your most precious blood, Panginoon. Use us as an instrument, Panginoon, just to, Panginoon, just to spread your word, Panginoon, sa lahat, Lord God, ng kasama namin sa umagang ito, Lord God. Lord, maraming salamat. We know and we are claiming, Panginoon, the victory sa umagang ito, Lord God. No works of the enemy, Panginoon, will prosper in this place, Panginoon. Walang gawa ng kaaway, Panginoon. Hallelujah, hindi namin yun pinapahintulutan. Pagkat your mighty presence will overflow, Panginoon. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, we welcome you. And we give you the highest praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Papurihan mo ang Diyos dahil siya ay karapat dapat na pasalamatan. Amen. I just want to read one verse. Sabi sa Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1, Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name for in perfect faithfulness you have done wonderful things. Things planned long ago. Kapatid, ang sabi ng Lord eh, ang dami na niyang pinlano para sa atin. Alam ng Diyos kung ano ang sitwasyon natin ngayon. Alam ng Diyos kung gaano kahirap ang buhay. Alam ng Diyos kung anong ang iyong karamdaman. Anong, alam ng Diyos kung ano lahat ng iyong pagdadalamhati sa umagang ito, sa araw na ito. Alam mo kapatid, ang sabi ng Lord, when you just open your mouth and sing, the praises, and Him for Him, ang Diyos ay may ginagawa sa buhay ng bawat isa. 
Naniniwala ka ba doon? Maniwala ka sa umagang ito. Pagkat sa pagbukas ng iyong bibig, sa pagpupuri mo sa Lord, merong gagawing maganda ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let us give the best praise to the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, kapatid, sabayan niyo po ako sa umagang ito, sa pag-awit sa Lord. Trading my sorrows, I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness, I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Let's declare, I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading. Yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, amen. I am pressed but not crushed, persecuted, not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed. I'm blessed beyond the curse for his promise will endure, the destroy is gonna be my strength. Though the sorrow may last for the night, His joy comes in the morning. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading. Yes, Lord. 
namin Panginoon, maramdaman namin ang iyong presensya. Lord, yung makapal mong presensya, O God. Lord, I know, O God, you are working out all the things, Panginoon, para sa aming mga buhay. That we don't have to worry, Panginoon, dahil kailanman hindi mo kami iniwan, kailanman hindi mo kami pinabayaan, Lord. Lord, Ikaw ang Diyos na hindi nagbago. Ikaw ang Diyos namin noon. Ikaw ang Diyos namin ngayon. At Ikaw ang Diyos namin magpakailanman. At alam namin, Lord God, na sa bawat sitwasyon, na sa bawat, Lord God, na aming kinatatayuan, Lord God, alam namin nandyan yung biyaya mo na hindi mo kami pinababayaan, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ito kami Nagpapakumbaba Umaasa sa'yo Walang hanggang biyaya Bawat habang Bawat saglit Sa bawat sandali Ang pag-asa Nagbiringin Ang aking pagsamo Narito kami Nagpapakumbaba Umaasa sa'yo Sa bawat sandali, puno ng pag-asa, nadiringgin ang aking pagsamo. O Diyos, kahit ilan, hindi ka nagbago sa aking pagtawag, tinutugon. Saglit man lang Pag-ibig mo sa'kin Lagi nang nariyan Come on, open our hearts Awitin natin tong awit na to para sa Lord Let us continue at damhin natin sa puso natin yung pag-awit natin Narito kami Nagpapakumbaba sa iyo walang hanggang biyaya bawat hakbang bawat silin sa bawat sandali puno ng pag-asa na diringgin ang aking pagsamo Diyos kahit kailan hindi ka nagbago sa aking pagtawag tinutugon ako hindi mo iniwan kahit saglit man lang pag-ibig mo sa akin lagi Dios 
padaku Hindimo iniwan Kahit saglit man lang Pag-ibig mo sa'kin Lagi na nariyan Sa uling pagkakataon, sabihin natin, O Diyos, O Diyos, kahit kailan Hindi ka nagbago Sa aking pagtawag, inutugon ako. Hindi mo iniwan, kahit saglit man lang, pag-ibig mo sa akin, lagi nang nariyan. Jesus, kahit kailan, Lord, hindi ka nagbago, Lord God. Lord, kahit kami bumulong sa pagpatak ng bawat luha, Lord God. Kahit kailan, hindi ka nagbago sa aming buhay. Kahit kailan, hindi mo kami iniwan, Lord. Sa bawat pagdapa namin, Lord, patuloy mo kami binabangon. Hindi mo kami iniwan. Hindi ka nagbago sa amin, Lord God. Lord, we may say, Panginoon, na kami ay, Lord, kami ay nagbabago. Kami nanlalamig, Lord. Kami tumatalikod, Lord God. Pero ikaw, Lord, never mo kaming kinalikuran. Never mo kaming iniwan. Never mo kaming pinabayaan, Lord. That's why you deserve all the worship. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the adoration. You deserve all the thanksgiving because you are worthy. You are worthy, oh God. Hallelujah. For you are all, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You were the beginning and the end. Ikaw ang Diyos na walang katulad. Ikaw ang Diyos na hindi nagbago. Hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah, Jesus. We just continue to worship, to give you praise, to give you glory, the highest praise and the highest adoration. Hallelujah. Jesus, wala kang katulad. Hallelujah, Lord. You are the great God. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for giving us a privilege to worship you, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning everyone. Once again, at uh, welcome po sa ating live broadcast ng ating uh, uh, worship service this Friday, 
October 30. Yon. Hallelujah. Um, it's really a great privilege to stand before you, stand before our Lord to deliver His message para sa po sa atin. Kasama po ako doon. Yon. I've been a preacher or I've been a pastor for the last um, eight years. Eight years already. I've, uh, I've been... Um, Uh, naging pastor po ako about um, ano, February 26, 2012. So, it's been uh, like eight years already. And um, to tell you honestly, this is the first time that uh, I'm getting uh, ano ba, uh, these uh, goosebumps and uh, I'm, I, I'm kinakabahan po ako, to tell you honestly, this morning. I don't know why, and um, sabi ng Lord, Aisha, tumayo ka lang doon. Stand there. I've, I've been preparing for this day. Um, <laughs> and every time I stand before uh, before uh, you, mga kapatid, I, I make sure that uh, I'm prepared. But the, did you ever hear a pastor or a preacher who had to preach his own funeral sermon. Parang ano no, it is a, it would be a tragedy kung um, to feel that he had been condemned to die and must preach against himself and condemn himself. Mga kapatid, I'm, I stand here today not in that capacity. Hindi naman po sa ganun, but in somewhat similar situation. Ang feeling ko po kasi that um, what I'm going to deliver today will also condemn myself. And um, I was praying earlier that uh, before I entered this uh, pulpit that I would be able to prayerlessly discharge my duty. Um, I, I would be able to deal honestly even with my own heart. And that I might preach knowing knowing myself to be a chief culprit of this message. And uh, so today, for the first time, for the first time, for the last uh, eight years that I've been, be, been preaching, I will be preaching in the book of Revelation. This is the first time that I'll be preaching on the book of Revelation. Usually, when we hear the book of Revelation, pag ito po nadinig natin, ano? We think of the end of the world. Di ba? Yun ang lagi ang pumapasok agad sa ating isipan about Armageddon, 666, and etc. Yes, it takes us through the great tribulation and all the woes and the final um, destination. of all unbelievers and believers for eternity. Yun po yun. But, alam niyo po ba, a lot of Christians nowadays avoid this book because they cannot understand it, hindi po nila maintindihan, or natatakot sila sa mensahe. And, some other people say it's content are somewhat dreadful or terrible. Kaya hindi nila binubuksan o hindi nila binabasa ito. And they do not see the importance of this book in a way that we will be revealed to us today. Sa araw pong ito. God is going to reveal something important in our life. Amen po ba? Sino po ang naniniwala doon? Hallelujah. That's why I am encouraging everyone to share and tag your family and friends with this message of the Lord. Huwag po tayong mahiya na mag-i-comment. Ilagay po sa comment box yung mga pangalan ng ating mga loved ones for them to hear this message as well. Hindi po lang para sa atin ito. Para din sa kanila. Amen po ba? So, they will be, they will know the message of the Lord. Amen po ba? So, yun, that's what comes in our mind when we Here, the word book of revelation, di po ba, na para bang it's terrible. Now, this is, such a, this is uh, the end of days. Yes, it talks about that. And uh, yes, we should be concerned about it. But 
you know mga kapatid, doon po sa Revelation chapter 1, sa beginning chapter, no po, ang sabi po doon, this is a revelation from Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, ang sabi po doon, this is a revelation from Jesus Christ. Kaya po ito'y importante. Napaka-importante po nito sapagkat ito po'y nireveal kay Jesus Christ. And which God give he, gave Him to show His servants the events that must soon take place. He sent an angel to present this revelation to His servant, John. Tapos ito po, ito po'y nireveal, ano? This revelation, this message of the Lord Jesus Christ was revealed through an angel to, Sir, to John, no? No, sabi po doon sa verse 2, who faithfully reported everything he saw. Yun po yung, kaya po ito yung inasulan. No, this is his report of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Kaya kailangan po natin ito pakinggan. Bakit? Bukod sa ito po yung mensahe, galing sa Lord, kay Jesus Christ, no? Ano, ang sabi po doon sa verse 3, ito po eh, kung inyo po talagang babasahin maigay, ano? If you're going to really read this, ang sabi po doon sa verse 3, Revelation chapter 1, verse 3, ha? We're not, hindi pa po tayo lumalayo, ha? God blesses the one who reads the words of this prophecy to the church. That's why we are reading this right now. For you to be blessed. For us to be blessed. Ang sabi po po niya, karutong. And He blesses all who listen to each message and obey what it says. For the time is near. Malapit na po talaga. Malapit na po talaga. I'm telling you this. No? It, the time is near. And it is really uh, appropriate, appropriate for us to read and receive this message today. Sino po ang naniniwala doon? Amen po ba? Amen. So, again, I'm asking you to share. I am encouraging, encouraging you. I am pleading for you to share this message to your loved ones. Because this talks about the time that is near. Amen po ba? And for you to be blessed, mga kapatid, for, you, for us to be blessed. Ang sabi po niya, again, uulitin ko po ha. Pasensya po na po. Para ito po ay talagang maisa puso po natin. I have to, to uh, uh, repeat this once again. Ang sabi po doon sa verse 3, Revelations chapter 1, verse 3, God blesses the one who reads the words of this prophecy to the church. And He blesses all who listen to its message and obey what it says for the time is near. Okay? Maliwanag po yan. Okay? Wala pong pambobola. Ito po, what is written? It is written, mga kapatid. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, so the book of Revelation contains no, it starts with the, with the letters which in which Jesus charged yung, yung seven churches of Asia Minor. Yung Asia Minor now is called uh, Turkey. It's called Turkey now. Ano? Yung po yung uh, Asia Minor na tinatawag. And today, we're going to read the letter of Jesus Christ to the church in Ephesus. Ayan. So, Ang sabi po doon, pwede po bang tayo ay tumayo for the reading of the word? I would like to, to ask everyone to stand in the, for the reading of the word. Ang sabi po doon sa Revelation chapter 2, verse 4, Nevertheless, I have this against you that you have left your first love. Sige po, sa Tagalog, uulitin ko po. Sa Tagalog naman, babasahin po natin. Subalit may isang bagay na ayaw ko sa iyo. Iniwan mo na ang pag-ibig mo noong una. Let's pray. 
Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Yes, Father God, we thank you sa umaga pong ito, Lord. At uh, patuloy po kami nagpupuri. At uh, niluluwalhati ang iyong nakilang pangalan for you have once again called us to hear your message today, Lord. Salamat po sa buhay po ng bawat isa. Lord, itago mo po ako sa likod ng krus upang yung tanging glory mo lamang ang makita at madinig ng mga tao na nanonood ngayon at manonood pa sa mga susunod na panahon ang iyong minsahe. This message will truly be planted in the hearts of every person that are listening right now. In Jesus' name, Lord, patuloy na ikaw, Lord, ang maghari sa buhay po ng bawat isa. Mag-glorify ka namin, maitaas lamang ang iyong dakilang pangalan in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So, brothers and sisters, if you're going to again look at the... The verse that we have uh, uh, read, kung ating pong pagninilay-nilayan, iisipin, no? ang una-una po nating makikita dyan, mapupuna, ano doon sa ating binasa, is that the Lord perceives. What, the, what do I mean by this? That He perceives o nakikita niya, He recognizes no, something. No? Our Lord, pag tinignan nyo, our Lord sorrowfully, yung parang siya ay nalulungkot na nakita niya, napuna niya the faults of His church. Kaya po ang sabi niya, Nevertheless, I have this against you. Sino po ba yung church? Tayo po yun. Ano? Tayo po yun. It's not the structure, but tayo po. Ikaw, ako, lahat tayo. Tayo po ang church. No? But if you're going to, again, look at his, uh, the way he perceived it, he perceived those faults as hindi po niya nakakalimutan o yung mga nagawa natin. Yung ina-admire pa rin, in-accept yung, yung mga nagawa natin, yung labor natin. Kaya nga po, ang, ang sabi niya rin doon sa, kung itataas po natin doon sa verse 2, I know your works your labor, your patience, and that you cannot bear, bear those who are evil. Kapatid, He is not oblivious to our labor. Ibig sabihin, alam niya yung paghihirap mo, pagpapagal mo, kung if you are serving the Lord, if you are in a ministry, alam niya. He take notes of all those things that you have done for His church, for Him. He knows everything that you are doing for Him. Alam niya ang ginagawa mo para sa Kanya. And He acknowledges those things that you do. Lahat, kapatid, ng pagpapagal mo sa Kanya, alam na alam ng Lord yon. Do not think, mga kapatid, that our Lord is blind to the beauties of His church. Al- nagagandahan siya sa church natin. No, hindi po yung parang okay, sabi niya, nevertheless, I have this against you. Pero bago 'yon, kung titignan po ninyo doon sa verse 2, kung iaangat po natin, ano? Uh, ang sabi po doon, bro, 'di ba? I know your works. Alam na alam ni Lord yung mga ginagawa, nagagandahan nga siya sa mga ano. Uh, at uh, he delights to observe them. Natutuwa siya doon. Jesus can see beauties where the church herself cannot see them. Kahit ang church mismo, kahit tayo min, minsan hindi natin nakikina, hindi natin napupuna ang kagandahan, ang nangyayari sa church natin, Jesus can see it. While we observe much to criticize, tayo kasi na, ang nakikita natin to criticize eh. Pero His loving eyes see much to admire. Tandaan niyo po yun. Hindi siya, hindi niya siya tumitingin dahil siya ay, ano, to criticize, but to admire. Amen po ba? Yun. Hallelujah. 
we when we in zealousness kasi pag minsan tayo so over zealous tayo of self examination tayo kasi ini-examine natin lagi yung sarili natin and write bitter things and criticisms against ourselves di ba pinupuno natin masyado yung sarili natin na parang hoy ano, ano ba tong nagawa ko palpak na naman ako but the lord jesus christ sees Even in those bitter self-condemnation, our hard work and efforts, yung lahat ng inilalagay natin, ini-invest natin na kalakasan, alam ng Lord yun. No? He says, I know your works. Sinasabi niya yun sa iyo, kapatid. Kung ikaw ay nagpapagal, sabi niya, I know your works. But while Jesus can see all that is good, but in truthfulness, His love is not blind. Hindi po bulag ang kanyang pag-ibig. Kaya po, He noticed in this text that Christ perceived also the flaw in His church, in the church, even in the midst of hard work and service, nakikita rin niya. Kasi hindi, siya bulag ang kanyang pag-ibig. No, kung if you're going to notice, if you're going to really study the book of uh, yung Church of Ephesus, they are full of work. Ano, busy busy sila. But this church at Ephesus, Ephesus was not only hard working, hindi lang po sila hard working, they were also patient in suffering great persecution. Kaya po ang sabi niya doon, I know your works and your patience and how you have remained and patient and have not fainted. Alam na alam ni Lord yun na ikaw, no, yung church, kung ikaw ay napepersecute, eh, alam ng Lord yun. And this church, mga kapatid, has been under persecution, upon persecution, but they bear it all with courage and continued still confessing their faith to the Lord. And this was good. And the Lord highly approved it. But yet, underneath it, He saw that they have left their first love. Nakita pa rin ng Lord yung pagbabago sa kanilang pagmamahal. The Ephesian church excelled in something else. Alam niyo po ko, no? It's discipline. Disciplinado sila. Yung kanilang uh, Uh, pagtuligsa sa mga heretics. Uh, kaya nga ang sabi niya, doon, pag binasa niyo ulit, yung sa verse 2, 3, uh, ganyan, ano? and that you cannot bear those who are evil. Diba? They would not tolerate false doc- doctrine. They would not put up with unclean living. Ayon po nila noon. Talagang tinutuligsa nila yon. Pag hindi aari, ay hindi po pwede talaga. They fought against evil, not only in the common people, but in prominent individuals. Bakit? Ang sabi po doon, and you have tested those who say they are apostles. Biro nyo, pati yung mga nagkiklaim that they are apostles and ay talagang kanilang siniyasat. They look upon their lives and their their doctrines. No, Ganon sila kasilos, passionate with their faith. Oh, diba? They had dealt with the great ones. They had no, they have not flinched from, from unmasking falsehood. Yung hindi tunay, inilalantad nila. Yun, those who seem to be apostles, they had dragged to the light and discovered to be deceivers. Diba? Gaano sila katinde. When it comes to their doctrines, lalo-lalo na doon sa mga nagpapahayag. No, the church of Ephesus was strong in their convictions. They did not yield their faith nor play the traitor to the Lord. For this, the Lord commended them. And yet, He says, Nevertheless, I have this against you. That you have left your first love. But Ed, you have left your first love. When you think about it, no, isipin po natin, is that really serious? Seryoso ba? 
talaga yon. I mean, ga- gaano ka seryoso ba yon yung I have you have left your first love. At parang eh, kagaling naman itong church na ito eh. Eh, napakatindi na kanilang pananampalataya and they work hard, they are very patient, they, they endure persecution, no? and they even expose yung mga uh, apostle na o kaya mga prophets na hindi naman talaga totoo. And yet the Lord has said, diba? Never, nevertheless, I have this uh, against you. You have left your first love. Of all the things that, the, out of all the things that the church has done, ito po yung binibintang o nakita ng Lord. Kapatid, it is the most serious illness of all. Kasi po, the church is the bride of Christ. And for a bride to pale in her love, is to fail in all things. Tandaan nyo po yan. It is common for the wife to say that she is obedient, ano? No, and um, she's doing a lot of things for the husband, di ba? And so on and so forth. But if the love to her husband has evaporated, na wala po yung pagmamahal, na wala yung pagmamahal ng asawa, Uh, asawang babae sa kanyang asawang lalaki ay eh, ano pa? Ano? She has lost the very life and soul of the marriage. Our relationship without love is nothing. Walang kwenta po yung relasyon na walang pag-ibig. Hindi po ba? Ikaw ba makikipagrelasyon ka? Walang pag-ibig? Okay lang sa'yo? Okay lang sa'yo? An- anong silbi ng, pa- ng inyong relasyon kung walang pag-ibig? So, kapatid, this is a very important matter. Our love to Christ, this love we have for Christ is very important because it touches the very heart. The very heart. Our very heart. Iyong sentro, mga kapatid, ng ating Uh, relasyon sa kanya. This is the very essence of our spiritual life. And as a church, we must love Jesus or else we have lost our reasons, our reason, our purpose for existence. Ganon po, kaimportante yon. A church has no reason for being a church when she has lost the love within her, her heart. And when that love grows cold, pag nanlamig yung pag-ibig mo sa Lord, eh ano pa? No, ka, kahit anong sakit, pwede mong tiisin eh. Pero ito, kapatid, this is a heart disease. You cannot endure. Hindi mo kaya. When our sickness is a disease of the heart, it is full of danger. And for us to be char- charged, o sabihan tayo that you have left your first love, it is a disease of the heart, a fatal disease. Kapatid, unless God will intervene and stop its progress, kaya nga nangungusap siya sa iyo ngayon eh. Any man, any woman, any child of God here, Eh, kung ito, kapatid, hindi mo alam, sinasabi sa iyo ng Lord. And this is a sad thing. Nakakalungkot po ito. No danger can be greater than this. If you lose your love to the Lord, you lose everything. Lahat ng pinaghirapan mo, lahat ng pinagpaguran mo, you lose everything. If you leave your first love, our first love, we will even lose all our strength, our peace, our joy. 
Kasama to doon, kapatid eh. Lahat yun eh. Kasakasama lahat yun. No? Ito pa yung nakakalungkot. Ito po. When I was really, I, um, kagabi nga eh, I just mentioned the verse. And it really brought tears to my eyes. Alam niyo kung bakit? It was Him. It was Jesus who found out. Yes, sabi niya eh, Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Jesus Himself found it out. Ay, hindi ko po alam kung how it will strike you. Pero as I thought it over, this Really, this pack brought tears to my eyes. Hindi ko ba mapigilan na siya mismo ang magsasabi sa atin at ang makakahalata na tayo we have left our first love. Alam nyo, kung ako when I'm beginning to live the love, my love to Christ, or love Him less than I do, I would, I would like to find it out myself. Gusto ko ako mauna. Gusto ko maramdaman ko, malaman ko muna. Para naman makagawa ako ng paraan. Para naman may masabi ako. But for Him to find it out, Ang hirap, sobrang nakakalungkot po. Sobrang nakakalungkot. For us na mahalaman ng Lord o sabihin sa atin na we have lost our first love or we have left our first love at we have grown cold for us na sabihin ng Lord na ganon. Hindi ko alam kung how you going to how, how you taking this. that we should keep on growing cold, na nanlalamig tayo, nanlalamig, and never care about, and never care about all this until Jesus points it out to us. Di ba? Hindi mo nahalata rin sa sarili mo na nanlalamig ka na pala na panlalamig na pala yung nangyayari sa'yo. Pastors did not know it, but he saw it who loves us so well that he delights, mga kapatid, in our love and suffers when it begins to fail. Siya mismo, kapatid, ang nakapo na sapagkat siya yung nasasaktan. When he noticed, when he recognized that our love has grown cold, to him who loved us with an everlasting love, minihalta niya tayo mula sa ating karumihan. And it, it is sorrowful that he should have to complain. Alam mo yun? Ang Lord na complain sa atin of our cold love na tayo we, we are indifferent o hindi natin pinupuna pinapansin what is happening to us sa sarili natin sa puso natin Does Jesus care more about our love than we do Mas concern pa siya sa atin sa pagmamahal natin kaysa tayo mismo He loves us better than we love ourselves. Alam, ito pa yung ano eh. Uh, this is what I found out also. That when you grow, when your love grows cold to the Lord, it's actually not missing. Hindi po nawawala yun. Hindi nawala. Alam mo po ang nangyari? Yung pagmahal po pala natin sa Lord, 
ang nangyari, pinaltan natin ng something else. May ipinalit tayo. Yung po ang mas masakit para sa kanya eh. May mas mahal ka ng iba. May mas mahal na tayong iba. Pag nawala yung ating first love, ibig sabihin, nauna na. May nauna na sa puso natin. Isipin natin. Isipin mo kapatid. Kung ano ang nauuna sa iyo. Isipin po natin. Unang-una, alam mo, tayo, sarili natin. Mas mahal mo na ang sarili mo. Okay? So, tignan po natin. Let us analyze our life. Yung pag-ibig natin. This is not a complaint from an enemy, but a dear wounded friend. You know, When you notice, when you when you read again the verse that we had, and when he express, yung kanyang naramdaman sa atin pag-ibig, he express it with great pain. Pero mo yung asawa, kasi nga tayo yung church, di ba? Tayo yung asawa niya. We are his bride. He is the husband. And the husband will look as his wife. Tinan niyo po ha? Sabihin sa atin, being the church, being the wife, you have left your first love. Sakit! Siya mismo, Nagsabi, what can we give the Lord but our love? Ano ba? Ano pa? Ano ang kaya nating ibigay? Pwede nating ibigay lang. The Lord married the church while we will still sin us. And if the church does not give Him love, ano pa ang ipu- pwede nating ibigay? If we begin to be unfaithful, In heart, in heart to Him, what is our work? Brothers and sisters, can you and I let Jesus find out that our love is the fine parting? Maalis na, that we are ceasing to be zealous for His name. Parang sa pagkakataong ito, again, we are wounding Him. Parang we are again crucifying the Lord. It is as if He is holding up His hands this morning with the pressed blood upon them and say, you know, these wounds, these are the wounds which I received in the house of my friends. It was nothing that I died for them. But you know, ito ang sinasabi sa atin ng Lord ngayon, it hurts a little bit. That after having died for them, they have failed to give me their hearts. <sighs> Nevertheless, I have this against you. That you have left your first love. No, it sounds very harsh. For, for his love he speaks in it a parang nakakaawa ang Lord eh. Hindi, I cannot bear it Lord. Sa totoo lang ako yung nalulungkot when I when I read this. Lungkot na lungkot ako. And doon sa verse 5 ang sabi, Remember therefore from where you have fallen. Indeed. Indeed, Lord, we have fallen and we have left our first love for you. 
Alam niyo mga kapatid, Jesus counts this as to be a personal wrong done to himself. Parang personal po ito sa kanya. Kaya sinabi niya, nevertheless, I have this against you. It is not an offense against the king or any judge or any president, but against the Lord Jesus Christ as the husband of the church. It is an offense against the very heart of Christ himself. Nevertheless, I have this against you. He does not say, your neighbor has this against you, your child has this against you, your God has... Hindi po niya sinabing ganun eh. Sabi niya, but I have this against you. Your hope, your joy, your delight, your Savior, I have this against you. That Savior, our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ tells us this most lovingly. Sana katulad ko rin siya. I mean, nakapagsalita rin ako na tenderly and yet, Hindi, hindi ko kaya. I'm grieving, mga kapatid. Sa totoo lang, nakarang, mga nakarang araw talagang, I'm, I'm really grieving. Parang, you know, when you lo- lost a love, a love, especially the love that we have for Jesus Christ, mas masakit pa yun eh, sa lahat ng sakit na mararamdaman mo. Pinakamasakit. And yet, after all these things that he has said, he gives us a prescription on how we're going to redeem. Paano tayo babalik? Paano mababalik yung pag-ibig natin sa kanya? Ito kapatid, tandaan natin. ba? Diba? Anong sumunod doon sa kanyang, sa verse 4 bro? The first word is remember. ba? Diba? Verse 5, ang sabi niya, you have left your first love. Remember then what your first love was. Remember, kapatid. That's the first word that God is asking us to do. To remember what your first love was. And compare your present condition with it. Tignan po natin, ano ba, sino ba talaga ang mahal mo? Kaya di po ba, natandaan po natin, when we do our communion, we do it because we want to be, ano, para alalahanin ang ginawa niya sa atin, para sa atin. Kaya yun lagi ang sinasabi niya, alalahanin niyo ito. Di ba noon, walang, walang makapigil sa iyo eh. He was your life. Your love, your joy. Di ba? Now, you look for recreation. Oh. Saan ba ako maglilibang? Anong kalilibingan ko? You're, you no longer admire. You look at other beauties na. Iba na yung maganda sa'yo. Di pa tayo nahihiya nito? Oh, hiyang-hiya. Hiyang-hiya po ako. Mahiya po ako eh. We will never get, we, we, we will never tired of hearing about Him and serving Him. Hindi tayo nagsasawang makinig ng mga gospel, songs, preachings, di ba? Kanta pa tayo, memorize natin. Lahat ng awit, ay, kung pwede nga lang, gumawa ng sariling awit para sa kanya, gagawa tayo, di ba? You, we have attended even yung mga late night prayer meetings, prayer meetings, Bible studies, kahit pa gaano kalayo pupuntahan, kahit pa mamasahe, kahit nung araw wala ng metro, pupunta ka kahit mahirap mag-commute, pupuntahan mo. ba? Diba? Now, 
Umupo lang tayo makinig ng preaching for a couple of minutes, 30 minutes, nahahabaan na tayo. Boring na sa atin. Mas excited ka na ngayon sa K-drama. Diba? Anyari, te. You are never displeased with Jesus in whatever happens. Diba? Kahit anong mangyari sa buhay mo, still, you will lift by your hands to the Lord and praise Him. Diba? If you are sick, poor, or dying, you still love and bless His name. Diba? Sasama ka. Kahit siya po saan siya pumunta. Across the sea, through the fire, through the storms, di ba? When the oceans rise and thunderstorm, you would have pursued Him. Walang mainit, walang malamig, kahit pa kabigat. Bubuhati mo, susuungin mo. Kahit may mga aso, kahit mataas ang bakod, may tinik-tinik, tatawid ng, ng ilog. Remember? Di ba? Yun po yun eh. That's why the first thing that the Lord is telling us, remember. Remember your bows, you remember the tears, remember your prayers. Remember yung pangako mo. Remember, where were you before you met Him? Balikan mo. Balikan mo ngayon. Kapatid, asang ka ba noon? Remember. Kaya sinasabi niya sa atin, remember. And the next word na gusto niyang sabihin sa atin is repent and do the first works. Alam niyo, yung repentance ay para sa mga sinners. So, yung mga makasalanan, nagkasala, di po ba? And this is actually what we should do right now. To repent. For we have grievously sinned. For we have left our first love. Repent, mga kapat. Pagsisihan natin. Diba? Dati, we call, oh, siya yung ating, ano, ang sabi na yung awit nun? This is the air I breathe. But to quit your first love, This is the most grievous thing we could have ever done. We could done for Him. Diba? That, that love, the love that we have for Jesus was well deserved. Eh bakit? Nasaan na? Hindi ba pair ang Lord sa'yo? Kulang ba yung pagmamahal na ibinigay niya sa'yo? Hindi ba siya faithful sa'yo, kapatid? Pwede na. Kaya mo na. You can do without Him. Meron ka ng ibang hope, ibang way of salvation apart from Him. And sabi po ng Lord, repent. Let's repent. Siya natin. The third word that we have to remember is to return. Repen- remember, repent, and then return. Sabi po do, repent and do the first work. So re- let us return. Hindi po niya sinabing repent and get back to your first love. Hindi po eh. Ang sabi niya, repent and do the first works. This is um, 
na, mga kapatid, we should not be satis- satisfied with regrets. No? We have to do the first work. Balikan po natin, let us return. Do not stop after the first na we remember and then we rep- repent but we did not return. If we live our, right, li- our life right, it will prove that our love is true. No? So, kapatid, ito po yung mensahe ng Lord sa atin. We are to get back to this first works at once. Kailangan po natin, balik tayo. Kung ano yung ginagawa natin noon, gawin po natin, oh Lord. Kung ikaw ay nagsaserve noon, kung gaano kainit yung pagsaserve mo sa kanya, balik natin yun. Ayaw mong mawala yung pagmamahal sa kanya, di ba? Mahirap po ito. Kasi yung pagmamahal po sa kanya, love to Christ is open love at first sight. We see Him and we are con- conquered by Him. If we grow cold, the best thing we can do is to focus our eyes on Him hanggang umiyak tayo. You focus your eyes to Him hanggang maramdaman mo ulit yung pag-ibig na naramdaman mo noon. May the Lord help us to do much better than before. Sabi po nga doon sa ano, kung titignan nyo po, itutuloy nyo yung sa verse 7. Ang sabi po doon, to him that overcomes. Because really it takes ano, uh, a lot of effort to overcome this in our life. No? You have to overcome something, yung nauna dyan sa puso mo. Kailangan mo ngayon paglabanan yan. You have, will have to fight against liturgy. Ano yun? Liturgy. Yung pusyaw, katamaran, yung numbness. You have to wrestle and struggle until you get the mastery over yourself and yield yung ating nature to the Lord. No? Brothers and sisters, I have no desire to say a word longer that the longer than the what the Lord has is telling us. Na magpapakita na ako ay mas ma mas mabuti kay sa inyo. Pagkat, mga kapatid, I have my share of losing also. I've lost a part. The Lord bless us. The Lord encourage us. This morning, kapatid, let us uh, sing to the Lord. Muli ating ipahayag, let us come to the Lord and remember yung ating first love. Natatanda mo pa ba? Kapatid, tandaan mo? I can't forget I still remember The place you found me And I surrender When your grace covered my shame and saw my need. Once again, I can't forget. I 
I can't forget I still remember the place you found me and I surrender when your grace covered my shame and so my need you give me hope the day yes, for us to once again express ating pagmamahal sa Lord kung 
nandun ka sa punto, kapatid, na naramdaman mo na ikaw yung sinasabihan ng Lord ngayong araw na ito. Pasalamat ka sa Lord sapagkat narinig mo ang minsaheng ito. Sapagkat mahal na mahal ka niya. God love you so much. Ayaw niyang mahawalay ka sa kanya, kapatid. Kaya gusto niya ibalik ka. Bumalik ka, kapatid. Gusto mong ipaalam ng Lord sa iyo kung hindi mo naramdaman na nanlamig ka. Kapatid, sinasabi ng Lord sa iyo. You have left your first love. Baka hindi mo na po na na sa mga nangyayari ngayon sa'yo, you are asking bakit ganon? It is because you have left your first love. God wants you to remember your first love. Gusto niya muli ibalik sa'yo yung pag-ibig na yun. Kapatid, sabihin mo sa Lord. He's waiting for you to say, tell Him na walang pag-iimbot yung with all sincerity in our hearts na masabi natin sa Kanya. Kapatid, na mahal natin siya, na siya pa rin, siya pa rin yung first love natin. Hindi magbabago yung first love na yun. Na hindi nakalimot ka man, pero sa pagkakataong ito, kapatid, muli sabihin natin sa kanya, maaaring dahil sa maraming nangyari sa ating buhay, we could not, uh, hindi natin naramdaman, nakakala natin, iniwan na tayo ng Lord. Pero kapatid, hindi. Hindi. Never. Never. He will never leave us nor forsake us. Hindi niya tayo pababayaan, kapatid. Na kahit ano mangyari sa buhay natin, He will never leave you nor forsake you. Mahal na mahal tayo niya. Kaya sinasabi niya sa atin ngayong umagang ito, ipinararamdam niya sa atin, iniririmind tayo ng Lord sa umagang ito. Ang kanyang pagmamahal ay nariyan. Ay kailangan lang natin ibalik natin yung ating pagmamahal na nararamdaman natin nung una natin siya na sumpungan. Kapatid, nasaan ka noon? Nasaan naalala mo ba kung ano yung kalalagayan noong umapanahon? Na walang wala ka at nasampungan mo, Lord. Naalala mo ba yun? Kapatid, oh God wants us to remember. At Lord, kapatid, ngayong araw na ito, let us repent. Magsisihan natin kung tayo ay nakalimot. Nakalimutan natin yung ating pagmamahal sa Kanya. But this is the day God is telling you, nevertheless, I have this against you. You have left your first love. You have left your first love. Kapatid, si Lord ang nagsasabi sa'yo, nangungusap ang Lord ngayon sa'yo, kapatid. Baka, baka sobrang busy ka kapatid sa kingdom pero nakalimutan mo yung king that you have forgotten to express your love to the king hindi lang dapat tayo busy sa kingdom eh. dapat busy rin tayo dapat palagi natin naaalala ang pagmamahal natin sa kanya hindi lang yung kingdom hindi lang yung kingdom kapatid nagiging kingdom yun that because of the king that sits on his throne then waiting for us But it, it is the Lord is, who is telling us right now, remember, remember. Kapatid, hindi, hindi siya uh, oblivious sa ating mga, mga nagawa para sa Kanya. Yung mga pinaghirapan natin, pinagpaguran mo. Hindi, na alam ng Lord yan, alam na alam niya. Nakatanim sa Kanyang puso, nakalista yan sa Kanya, kapatid. Hindi Kanya pababayaan. Hindi siya nakalimot, kapatid, sa iyong mga pinagpaguran, pagpapagal mo, ginawa. Lahat yon alam na alam ng Lord. Kaya nga ngayon, kapatid, sinasabihan niya tayo eh, na mahal na mahal niya tayo. And it is our time to say to the Lord once again, 
sabihin mo sa Lord once again. Jesus, I love you. Yes, I love you. Because you first love me. I love you, Jesus, I love you, yes, I love you, because you first love me. Even, Lord, the last breath, can you say to the Lord, Before I end, let me just read this. These are the 40 evidence that you may have left your person. You don't have a strong desire to spend time with Him. You don't have a strong hunger for the Word. Bible reading now is a chore. Something to mark off as to-do list. Spending time is in prayer is a burden, a duty rather than a delight. Your worship is formal, dry, lifeless. And you're just merely going through the motions. If your private prayer and worship are almost non-existent, cold and dry, you are more concerned about physical health in comfort than your condition than the condition of your soul. You crave for physical food and yet doesn't have an appetite for spiritual food. You crave for human companionship more than a relationship with Christ. Spend more time on, and effort on your physical appearance than cultivating an inner spiritual beauty to please Christ. Your heart toward Christ is cold and indifferent. You don't want to talk about spiritual things anymore. You miss your spirituality by performance rather than the condition of the heart. Your obedience and service are motivated and fueled by expectations of others or a desire to impress others more than by passion for Christ. You are more concerned about what others think and what will please them Your service for Christ and others is and others is motivated by sense of duty or obligation. You find yourself resentful over the hardship and demands of serving Christ. You have a hard time coming up with something fresh to share. In a testimony, hirap na hirap ka na, na mag-share, o bumangon para manood ng worship service. 
You enjoy secular songs, movies, and books more than songs or reading materials that point to Christ. You prepare the company of people who don't love Christ to the company and fellowship of those who do. You are more interested in recreation, entertainment, and having fun than in cultivating your intimacy with Christ. The Lord is good. Love endures forever. His faithful love endures forever. Pagbuti po ng Lord sa buhay po natin. And it is just proper, but proper to for us to express our love for Him. Na dapat ito po ang nanghungungo na sa ating buhay. Amen po ba? Let me pray. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Yes, Father God, we thank you sa umaga pong ito, sa pagre-remind sa amin. For giving us this message, Lord, na nagbalik po sa amin. Upang maalala namin, Lord, for us to remember and repent, Lord, for the things na hindi namin alam that our love has grown cold, has grown cold, Lord. We ask, O oh God, for your forgiveness. Tulungan mo po kami, O oh God. With this message that uh, you have given us, we pray, Father God, na nagrema ito sa puso ng bawat isa. Na nangusap ka. Ikaw, Lord, na nangusap sa buhay po ng bawat isa. So whatever our circumstances, situations, Lord, narihan. Salamat po, O Diyos. Bless our works. Bless our hands, O God. Bless our days. In Jesus' name. Uh, pray for our communion element. Kuha po tayo ng tinapay. Kuha po tayo ng tinapay at juice. We can use for our communion ele- as communion elements. Sige po, I will give you time to get uh, your communion elements. po kayong mga tinapay at uh, juice. Let us pray. Po, atin pong uh, pag-pray ang ating mga communion elements. Yes, Father God, we thank you for this day. Salamat po, Lord. And we, uh, as we uh, Lord share in this communion, Lord, we remember what you have done for us. Lord, the, your body that was uh, beaten for us, suffered the torture upang kami po Lord ay maligtas, mabayaran ng aming mga kasalanan. Salamat po Lord sa sakripisyo mo sa, sa Diyos na nagsisimbolize ng iyong dugo na nabuhos sa krus ng Kalbaryo upang kami Lord ay magkaroon ng kagalingan at maselyuhan ang aming bagong ang, ang iyong mga pangako sa, para sa amin Lord in Jesus name. Salamat po o Diyos. Pangalan ni Jesus, Amen and Amen. Sige po, let us uh, distribute ang ating uh, communion elements. Na. Let us uh, read in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23 up to 26. 
it is written. For I received from the Lord what I also pass unto you, the Lord Jesus. In the night, He was betrayed, took bread, and when He had given thanks, He broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, He took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat the bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Atin pong pasalamatan ng ating Diyos sa Kanyang ginawa para sa atin. Let us remember, this is not a ritual, but a commemoration of what God has done for us. Let us partake of the bread and drink the cup. Hallelujah. Sige, itaas po natin ang ating mga tithes and offering. Hallelujah, Jesus. Panginoon, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng biyaya, O God, na ipinagkakaloob mo sa amin. Lord, salamat sa aming mga trabaho. Lord, sa lahat ng resources, Panginoon, na ipinagkakaloob mo. Lord God, sa amin. Lord, maraming salamat. Continue to bless us mightily, Panginoon, sa aming pagbibigay, Panginoon. Uh, hayaan mo, Panginoon, na... Uh, Ang bawat isa, Panginoon, ay makatanggap pa ng mas maraming biyaya nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. We just continue to pray, Panginoon, for promotions, increments, blessing upon blessing, Panginoon, na hindi, Panginoon, yung hindi pa namin nararanasan ay patuloy mong, patuloy mong ipaparanas sa amin, Panginoon. Extend mo, Panginoon, lahat ng Panginoon na offering namin ito sa iyong gawain, O, o God. Maraming salamat, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Haleluya. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Sige, lahat po ng na-bless ay magsabi ng Amen. Haleluya. Sige, tayo po ay dadako na sa ating victory. Tayo ay patuloy na magpasalamat sa Lord. Haleluya, Jesus. Kung aking mamasan ang kalawakan, hindi ko maunawaan ang iyong dahilan. Kung bakit ako'y pinili mo't inalagaan, di ko kayang isipin, hinding hindi ko kayang sukatin. Ang pag-ibig mo, Jesus, na yung binigay sa akin. Minsan pa. Kung aking mamasan ang kalawakan, hindi ko maunawaan ang iyong dahilan. Kung bakit ako'y pinili mo't inalagaan, di ko kayang isipin, hinding hindi ko kayang sukatin. Ang pag-ibig mo, Jesus, na iyong binigay sa akin. Salamat, salamat, O Jesus, sa pag-ibig mo. Walang ibang nagmahal sa akin ng katulad mo. Salamat, salamat, O Jesus, sa pag-ibig mo. Ako'y magsasaya sa piling mo. Buhay ko na ang purihin ka. Buhay ko na ang purihin ka. Buhay ko na ang sayo'y sumamba. Wala nang ibang nanaisin pa, kundi pasalamatan ka. Declare it, buhay ko na. Buhay ko na ang purihin ka. Buhay ko na ang sayo'y sumamba. Wala nang ibang nanaisin pa, kundi pasalamatan ka. Buhay ko na. Buhay ko na ang purihin ka. Buhay ko na ang sayo'y sumamba. Wala nang ibang nanaisin pa, kundi pasalamatan ka. Salamat, salamat, O Jesus, sa pag-ibig mo. Walang ibang nagmahal sa akin, ng katulad mo. Salamat, salamat, O Jesus, sa pag-ibig mo. Ako'y magsasaya sa piling mo. Ako'y magsasaya sa piling mo. Saya sepiling mo, Hallelujah. Let's give the best clap, the best clap offering that we can give to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. itaas po natin ang ating makamay para sa benediction but before that we'll let us close uh, hallelujah yes Father God salamat po muli Lord kami po ay tunay na nagpapasalamat at nagpupuri sa iyong dakilang pangalan sa ginawa mo ngayong araw na ito for you have once again Lord binalik mo po kami sa aming pag-ibig sa iyo have given us a new lease on life. You have given us, Lord, ang panibagong pagmamahal sa iyo. Salamat po, Lord, sa pagbabalik sa amin. Patuloy mo, Lord, na kami po ay uh, samahan 
Patuloy mo po, Lord, na kami po ay gabayan at i-bless all the works of our hands, O God, as we continue to serve you, Lord, and love you with all our hearts. Lord, patuloy mo, Lord, din na ingatan ang aming mga mahal sa buhay. Send your legions of angels, Lord, sa aming pamilya sa Pilipinas. We may pray, Father God, na wala ni isa man sa, sa mga mahal namin sa buhay. ang masasalanta o ma uh, atamaan ng bagyo Lord na si Rolly in Jesus name we pray Father God your your divine protection be upon them O God in Jesus name hallelujah salamat po O Dios ikaw lamang Lord ang maluwalhati maparangalan sa lahat po ng nangyayari sa aming buhay to you Lord all the glory honor and praise in Jesus name Amen. Sige po, let us lift our hands for the benediction. Tanggapin po natin ang mayamang pag-ibig ng Diyos Ama, ang biyaya ng sakripisyo ng Diyos Anak na si Jesus, at ang pakikipisan pagsama ang wisdom, the power that comes with the Holy Spirit be upon us in Jesus' mighty name. Go and express your love to Him. Return now in Jesus' name. Amen. Yon. Maraming maraming salamat po sa bawat isa uh, na, na, na nanood niya yung araw na ito ng ating worship service. We pray na kayo po ay na-bless at patuloy lang po tayo na, na makinig, manood palagi ng ating mga worship service. And I just want to remind everyone na ang ating pong uh, Next week po ay meron tayong worship and plug. So, uh, uh, ne, uh, bali sa gabi po yun, ano? So, sa morning, we have a unified worship. Yun, buong UAE po, isa lang ang service. So, that will be next week. That will be in the morning. And then in the evening, meron po tayong worship and plug. Abangan po ninyo and watch and be blessed. Yun po yun. Uh, 7 p.m. po, no? 7 p.m. at uh, November 4. Ha? 11 p.m. sa Pilipinas po. Dubai time, 7 p.m. 11 p.m. Uh, Philippine time. Yun. Okay? 11 p.m. Philippine time. Tama? Okay. So, again, maraming salamat po. At uh, we declare abundant blessings po sa buhay po ng bawat isa. Patuloy lang po tayo. Kapit lang po. Kapit po. Hindi tayo binibigawan ng Lord. Amen po ba? Yun. God bless po. Magandang umaga po. At God bless everyone.